All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. But now it is time to pay witness to the halftime show. Awesome. That was the greatest thing I have ever seen in my life. That, my friends, that's that's better than sex, okay? That was, <laughs> that's, that, that's the greatest thing I've ever seen. That's awesome. Oh, God, what a great halftime show. I know with 8-bit graphics, you can only do so much, but still, that's, that's a winner. It's like this game is a winner. Shoot it, white boy. Shoot it. I can't make a three in this game. I can steal the ball. <laughs> Shoot another one. I will make a three-pointer at some point. Right, turn around. Shoot it. Come on. Jeez. Um, I'm supposed to rant about sports, aren't I? Isn't that the point of this? Um, I don't really have much to rant about. I mean, I can rant about professional wrestling. That's not really a sport. It's sports entertainment, but... Um, let's see. Uh, well, I don't, I don't watch much wrestling nowadays. Wrestling to me is not as fun when you're not a mark, so I really don't have much to say. Um, oh, there's a three-pointer. Um, let's see. I did watch, like, I guess WWE did that drafting like two months ago, and that was pretty entertaining for the most part, though nothing really special. I was a much bigger wrestling fan, like, say, in the, I don't know. Early to mid 90s. I think Doug's using my bathroom. Give me, give me the damn ball. Okay, I'm facing the Celtic Frogs. I come to a conclusion after the halftime show. There we go. But, no, I just don't watch much wrestling nowadays. It's kind of lost its feeling with me. I still like the live shows. Or the live shows that whenever. If live shows ever like occur here in Kansas. I think there's been more shows that have been canceled over the last two years than shows that have actually been, you know, going on. But, eh, whatever. What can you do? Oh, miserable prick. Come on. Come here. Come here. Alrighty then. Thank you. Appreciate that. Dunk. Dunk you very much. <laughs> but, nah, I don't really much really to rant about it. You know. I'm not a mark, so... Oh, shit. You can actually push people in this game. Well, I can actually shoot a free throw? Wow, I'm learning more and more, but... But, no, I mean, wrestling's still okay. I mean, it, yeah, it's... It's had better days, but, yeah, I still watch it, even though that, yes, I know it's fake. I know it's a fake sport. People still... You know, people still ask me, ask me that. Do you know it's fake, don't you? Really, I did not know that. So you're gonna tell me that Santa's not real? Seriously, critics of wrestling—I don't know—they're—they're they're, they're just amusing to me. They think they know a lot about the sport, and yet they don't know a damn thing. Whether it's what's his name, Phil Mushnick, or or Colin Colin Cowherd, I'm Colin Cowherd. That radio announcer with the high-pitched voice who hasn't hit puberty yet. I think, I think they know everything that goes on in wrestling. It's like, dude, you guys don't know a damn fucking thing. Jeez, they'll let, they'll let anybody, they'll let anybody become an ASPN radio announcer. <laughs> anybody. Or likewise, like, I mean, it's just, no, oh, it's pathetic. And speaking of, speaking of pathetic, get my ass kicked in this game all of a sudden. One of those games like NBA Jam where they have, like, computer assistance, I would hate, I hate that so much. It's like, if you're blowing out the computer, they're going to come back eventually. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. But this game is not NBA Jam, because I don't hear any, um, Boom Shakalaka! He's on fire! I don't hear any of that. I wish I did. That'd be funny as hell. Lays it up! Oh. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna fuck that up. Jeez. Come on. God, I know you're a white guy, but surely you can make a dunk. 
Give me the ball. It's so easy to steal in this game. But you see, I can't make shit. Oh god, this guy's gonna easily make it. Oh wow, he, they, they missed. That's a first. I have played so many NBA games in my time that it's it's very rarely does the computer like ever miss. And I can't make. Thank you. Fucking A, I did it again. Okay, man, I can't believe I ran out of things. Well, I, I, I ranted enough about the Chicago Bulls and John Paxson's horrible GM skills, but I don't know. Guess I can play this game out. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I wonder if this game shows stats, because my field goal percentage is going to be shit. All right, time to shoot a three. Hey, there you go. I broke 100 points. This was in Chicago. These fans would get free Big Macs. Yeah, no shit. At the United Center, when the Bulls score 100 points, everybody gets like a free Big Mac, I think. And it's the most pathetic thing in the world because the Bulls fans, if they don't get their precious Big Macs, they get all pissy. I remember one game where I think, what was it, Thabo Cephalosha had a chance to get 100 points, and he head onto the ball and got booed. And because of that alone, Thabo is like my favorite player on the Bulls. Ser seriously? Big Macs are not that expensive. How can the fans go crazy? Are they like just just cheap and fat that they just can't go and just buy a Big Mac themselves anyway? I mean, seriously, it's the most pathetic thing. They need to get rid of that fan promotion. And while they're at it, maybe they can like trade Rose and get Beasley. <laughs> I doubt that's going to happen. Because as you probably know, point guards are... You, you need a point guard to win a championship. Oh, wait a minute. Celtics. Rajon Rondo? Never mind. Or the Lakers? Derek Fisher? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Got this game in the bag, alright. Part 4 coming up. <laughs>